for a thing to move, stretchability has to be a must. This material is known as artificial muscle. This material is highly promising to be used in future generations of robots. We asked the question, what is the main difference between a robot and a human? And we came to the answer that human is made up of soft muscles, but robot consists of hard muscles. So this being a motivation, we begin to search for a material that could replicate the function of the human muscle. We can also imagine that in the future, if robots become a pervasive device in the human life, the interaction between humans and robots becomes important. And current robots which are hard and stiff, they, put, they present danger in the interaction between human and robots. But if you have a robot which consists essentially of similar materials like the human being, then the interaction becomes relatively safer. So I would say that the vision of realizing a portable green robot is in the duration of about up to 10 years. So, so that will be some kind of a time frame that we are looking at. But if that becomes a reality, I would imagine that robots becomes highly affordable, highly portable, and well, anyone can have a robot, just like anyone have a laptop right now. Yes.